Let's highlight some text here in InDesign. I'm going to start by clicking in a blank part of my document to make sure no text or text boxes are selected. Then up under Window, Styles, Character Styles. In the Character Styles panel, in the menu in the upper right corner, New Character Style. Let's call this Highlighter. Choose OK. So we've successfully created our character style called Highlighter. Let's now actually apply this to some text. So simply select some text and then click once on the character style to apply it. Now, when I click away, although we've applied the style to this text, of course, we don't see anything because we are yet to format our highlighter. So let's do that just now. So right mouse click on our new style, edit highlighter, and make sure your preview is turned on. And then let's come down to underline options. Yes, I did say underline. Now underline on, let's turn that on and we can finally see a change just out here. Let's set the color to yellow. And then all we have to do now is play with the weight and the offset. So to have the weight option kick in, I'm just going to select something from the drop down just here. We can use the up and down arrows just here to make a change. Or we could select some text and type in whatever we like. Or with the cursor inside of here, just press the up and down arrow keys to make a change. In this case, 14 is looking pretty good. Let's now change the offset. So again, I'll choose something from the drop down to have this field kick in. And then using my up and down arrow keys, negative four is looking pretty great. Okay, so I'm happy with this look. Let's choose OK. And we are good to go. So this is very easy to deploy. We simply select some text and then just click once on our character style and then click away to see the change just there. We can easily select multiple lines of text like so. Again, just click on highlighter to apply it like so. Now let's say, for example, we wanted to tweak the style. Maybe I'm not liking this slight gap between the lines just here. So right mouse click on the style, edit highlighter. Again, come down to underline options. And in this case, I just want to thicken this up a little bit. So let's just slightly increase the weight and problem solved. I could also, for example, change the color like so. Now to commit those changes, just choose OK. In this case, I like what we had, so I'm just going to choose Cancel. Now, if you want to get rid of any highlighting from an area, simply select that area, Character Styles, set that to None. Click away, and sure enough, that styling has been removed. So that's it just there, guys. Now, for the InDesign geeks amongst you, that wasn't an insult, I consider myself one. I'd like to show you why I did things in the order that I did in that I had you create the style, apply the style, click away, and then format the style. You'll see a lot of people demonstrate this technique by first selecting some text, then going up and creating a character style. Again, making sure previews turned on, underline options, turning underline on, and then they'll assign some color. Again, pretty much the same as what I did, but the problem is, Having some text selected, you actually get this inverted look just here. And it's very hard to marry up what we're doing here with what we're actually dialing in just here. So I'm just going to cancel out of there. And hopefully that explains why I did things in the order that I did. So that's creating a highlighter here inside of InDesign. I hope that helps. Catch you later.